What's the scenario that can truly become a huge emergency? A car or truck on fire inside the Eisenhower Tunnel, but CDOT is ready with the help from a multi-million dollar fire suppression system installed four years ago. Yeah, we were there reporting on it going in, and when it was completed, knowing how important this is to the high country, it was put in place for a real emergency like today's. Matt Kroschel continuing that coverage, now taking us inside the tunnel control room to show us just how it works. It's never a typical day inside the Eisenhower and Johnson tunnels. Um, usually business as usual is not very exciting up here, but when we do have that um, once in a while moment, yeah, it, it can get pretty chaotic. Monday morning, a car bursts into flames inside the tunnel. We, we actually are our own emergency response up here. As firefighters race to the scene from Clear Creek and Summit County, technology already installed inside the tunnel went to work. So we have as much as 120,000 gallons of water um, to put on the fire from directly overhead. The multi-million dollar fire suppression system installed four years ago to help combat the worst case scenario had never been tested in a real life situation. We had a great success with it with flying colors. And within hours, crews had removed the burned out wreckage of the car and traffic was once again moving through this vital east-west corridor it's, it's a lot of people's opinion that if we, we didn't use it or didn't have it, that the tunnel might still be shut down for several days or even weeks. We could have lost some of the, the tunnel structure. Money well spent. We, we can handle it, and, and I thought we really did. CDOT has four people at least 24 hours a day here ready to respond to any type of incidents, including fires. Reporting inside the Eisenhower Johnson Memorial Tunnels, Matt Kroschel, covering Colorado First.